Hey everyone, welcome to this course on the HTTP app on IntegraMap. The first lesson covers the introduction and fundamentals of HTTP requests. Let's begin with a simple definition of what HTTP is. HTTP stands for Hypertext Transfer Protocol and is used to structure requests and responses over the internet. HTTP requires data to be transferred from one point to another over the network and is built upon a server client model. A client can be your laptop or mobile device, and a server is typically a web host located somewhere in the world, ready to deliver data after successful requests are being made by clients. In order to make communication between clients and servers possible, HTTP also consists of a range of methods such as GET and POST. You can think of them as commands. As the names of these request methods suggest, a GET request is used when a client is asking a server for some data whereas a POST request is used when a client wants to send data to a server. So here is a quick example. Let's go to a new browser window and type google.com in the search bar. As soon as you hit enter, the browser will make a GET request to Google server asking to receive data. When that happens, if the request is successful, the server will send your browser data, which will then be converted into a web page that you can see and read. And that brings us to our next point. HTTP requests always have a response. The server might send back some data that has been requested. However, it will always send a status code indicating the success or failure of the request. So now let's take a look at the HTTP app inside IntegraMap, which can be used to perform HTTP requests directly inside your scenarios. As you can see, the HTTP app has many different modules However, let's begin with the make a request module. The first field is the URL. As you've seen earlier with the google.com example, in order to perform a request of any type, you always need to specify a URL. A URL, also known as a uniform resource locator, is necessary because as its name suggests, is used to locate a particular resource that is published on the web under a server. So once again, if you want to request data from Google's main website, you need to type google.com. The next thing you need to select is your request method. As you can see, there are various types of requests you can use. However, the most common ones are get and post. For this example, let's select get. And that's all you need in order to perform a simple get request to google.com directly through an IntegraMath scenario. However, it is important to note that a request can be a lot more complex depending on the resource you're trying to access and might require many more parameters in order to be successful. That purely depends on how a particular resource is built and structured, which is often clearly documented by the resource creator. In the next videos, we will be exploring the process of making requests to different types of resources so you can get a better understanding of how everything works. So for this example, let's skip over the headers, query string, and body type fields as they are not necessary in order to perform a simple GET request to google.com. Let's close this module, save the scenario, and run it once to make this HTTP request. Great! As you can see, the request was successfully performed. Let's click on the bubble at the top of this module to see the response of this request. As you can see on the output section, the status code is 200. This is a code that is always sent back from a web server when a request is successful. If a request was not successful, you might receive a status code 400, which stands for bad request. Now let's open up the data window and check what kind of data the server has sent back. As you can see, there is a bunch of HTML code, which is the language used for defining how a website looks. This was a predictable output since we have made a request to google.com, which is a URL that returns a website. The only difference between making the request inside a browser as compared to making the request inside Integramat is that the browser can actually read this HTML data and convert it into a website, which we can read and interact with. This, however, doesn't mean that HTTP requests inside a scenario cannot be useful. There are some special resources called APIs, which you can make requests to inside your scenarios and receive very useful data from. More about this in the next video. So to recap, HTTP requests make communication between clients and web servers possible. An HTTP request can have a range of different methods such as GET and POST, which are the ones most commonly used. A GET request is used to retrieve data from a web server. 
A POST request is used to send data to a web server. Every HTTP request always has a response with at least a status code, which indicates whether the request was successful or not. And this concludes this lesson on the introduction to HTTP requests. In the next lesson, you will learn what APIs are. See you there.